We are back. We? Who's we? There is no we. Still no Malachi and Connor, but it's no surprise by this point. Well, who would want to join in halfway through No Death anyway? It just wouldn't feel right. Myself and Malachi are locked horns in a race to see who can complete their first series. Malachi's finishing Fallout 76 and I'm finishing Lego Fortnite. I'm managing to get about three out in a week and as for Malachi... Oh my god! So the bad news is that the Fallout 76 series will be finished in 2025, but the good news is you'll be done with my series by the end of the week. So without further ado, let's continue the journey of One Hero Survives 100 Days in LEGO Fortnite Without Dying a Single Time Episode 6 Day 61, I was getting a bit tired of Hayseed already and wanted to go back. But Beef Boss backed them up so I guess I'll trust the process for now. Dylan! You son of a bitch! Also, we're back at main camp. Well, let's be honest, is it really main camp anymore? Because, well, we're about to gut this place completely and take everything we need from it for the new place. When I'm done, me and Silas will live there. And as for the others... They're not terribly important to me. <laughs> well, I'm making dinner. They can enjoy retirement. You. Day 62. Back at the new camp and... Ooh. Hello, Missy. Wow. Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise. Franklin's housemate. And aunt. My mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. A newcomer. I'm sure we can find a place for you in our rank. The day we spent building everything, crafting everything that we have available to us and putting it here. Not a bad place for it. I also moved everything from our temporary storage to a more sophisticated area. In the morning of day 63, I started the day off with a Brexit challenge on the feeding boulder. I did a bit of resource farming for this day and started to work on the interior of some of the houses. It's a very slow progress. But I'm sure when it's done it'll look great. You don't know that! I'm the only one who knows that. Day 64. I finished building one of the houses. The interior is looking rather nice. And it's really set the standards for the other houses to come. I put up as many lights as I could so the base could be seen at night. But all those lights still get outshined by one campfire. What? <sighs> Maybe it's time I do something about it. Day 65. This was the toughest day I'd ever had in LEGO Fortnite. And I'll tell you why. I'm out gathering resources for a small home base upgrade. He seeds with me. I'm picking up rocks. It's all good and well. A small campfire spawns in the snow region. I had never been before, but figured it was just slightly tougher than the desert. How wrong I was. It was a camp of literal knights, and they were desperate to kill us. I thought, what's, what's the big deal? Surely I can trade damage with them. Half my health. Gone like that. I then thought, well, together, me and Hayseed could surely outpower her. I told you. <laughs> you die for that. I don't think so, pal. fucking dead. He's useless. He's just a third wheel without a piece. I tussled with her. My patience is waning. Is this entertaining? 
and I tussled with her until it becomes a three on two. Well, technically one. So I say f that and run away behind this hill. But we're not done there. What else is there to greet me but none other than a brute staring us down. We try and dodge out the way. And look at that damage! What the fuck was that damage, my guy? Oh! Sack of shit. Get out! So I run away back home and stay inside for the night, terrified. Hey Seed, I'm afraid in the principle of the run I can't have a teammate that died. I'm so well geared and I've got my trusty companion. I'm not sure if he died somewhere in here though because when we fell into this pit of skeletons here he disappeared for a while. You shut your mouth! Don't say it. You don't know that he died! How can you know? And that was the end of day 65. Now, we're halfway through day 66, stocked up on food thanks to Beef Boss, and Silas is back on the team. I went back to main camp and decided I'd make some fire lamppost type things, so we'd be lit up at night, you know. But I hated the look of it and decided just to build this, a campfire some seats. What a unique design, eh? Bota showed up and I wouldn't mind recruiting them. We need a farmer after all. So, I did. I let him have his five minutes of sleep and... Welcome, Oaks. I know that you're a community member. GET BACK TO WORK! <laughs> the trick is to say you're prejudiced against all races. I also installed a little fence for each house. Oh my maybe, god, bro. Maybe a guard. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? The rest of the day was just spent making furnishings for these houses. I can't lie, this will probably seem like a pretty boring video when it comes to edit. So, I mean, I'm nearly falling asleep here trying to say it myself. But these are the days that you don't normally see. Normally, other folk will just have a jump cut that's put over this. No! But that is cringe. I said I would document every day and that is what I must do. Day 67. Me and Silas went round the doors and installed bathrooms into all the houses. Good morning! vault calling! That was it. That was all that happened this day. I feel like the days are actually moving too fast now. Day 68 here and I did a bit of resource farming. And if you're wondering if those built knights are still there, they're not. I ate some raspberries. Nah, I know right, that is a highlight of the day, which is actually pretty thick. I'm going to sleep. Day 69. I spent most of this day AFK and catching up on my journeys. By the time I got back, it was nightfall, and the locals were gathering around the one communal fire in. Then they all left Silas alone at the same time, as if it was a planned attack. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. That was all the content I could squeeze from that day. Something more sexual. I built a few more decorations. That was about it though. Day 70. Milestone day. You know the deal by now. We're getting pretty close to beating this. Is it possible? Well, of course it is. I should celebrate today, but it's just too much to do. So I spent the full day gathering resources and furnishing a house. I really panicked here thinking I was about to die of fall damage. I danced with the locals at night. Wait, is that it? Is that the turnout? Jesus. What an unreal way to end it. Two folk. Thanks guys, really appreciate that. Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. Well. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like or perhaps a comment saying so. Let's be honest here, anyone watching this is definitely new, so consider subscribing so you don't miss another episode. But for another time, keep surviving, keep thriving, stay safe while driving. This is the No Death Variants, signing off.